Hello everyone, Jen Obvious back with a Unity tutorial. This one I'm going to talk about uh, publishing your world to VRChat uh, for PC and Quest. Okay, so I'm using the video or the scene from our last video on the SAC Flight. So it does have the SAC Flight 1.63 version in here already. Um, the first thing you want to do uh, up here at the top, VRChat SDK, click on that show control panel. Once in this tab you'll see a username password. Uh, it'll be blank. Go ahead and put your username and password that you used on the VRChat.com website in here. Um, and then they will send you an email to verify a code. So verify that and once you're logged in you will uh, be allowed to publish your world to VRChat. Click on the Builder button. This is the next window. It's an unpublished VRChat world. You haven't named it yet, which you will once you start uploading it. Disregard this right here. Do not, do not click auto fix. This has not been fixed yet. It's a bogus thing. Leave it alone. All right. So all this other stuff, leave it default. Don't change it around. Uh, if you click on the settings tab, Leave this like it is, uh, unless you're really advanced, uh, advanced and know what you're doing. The content man manager, once you click on that, it will display all the worlds. Uh, it'll fetch your records and display all the worlds um, that you have uploaded to VRChat. Okay, so in the Builder tab, this is your main one that you want to have uh, open when you're uploading your world. So, let's go ahead and build and publish to Windows. This is going to put it on the PC side, not the Quest side. And it may take a while, depending on your world size, textures, how much models you have in there. It may take a while to build and compile your entire scene so you can upload it to VRChat. So right now it's building a player, it's building everything that's in your world. Um, you know, taking all the different textures, condensing them, and getting them ready for an upload. And it may take a while, so... Two hours later. Alright, it looks like we are almost done. It's going to pop up with a window here. It's still... There we go. Alright, so this is what you're going to see, guys. Let's go ahead and move that over here so you can see everything. So this is the window right before it uploads to VRChat. You're going to name your world. So let's go ahead and name this Sack Flight Test. Uh, you can change the player capacity. It's up to you. Description. That's the description of the world. Um, then you can check these if that applies. Uh, tags. These are the tags that people type into their... Uh, VR chat world menu so when they search for a world they'll be able to find your world better so you can put stuff in there like fly um, airplane you know you can only uh, I believe you can only put four tags in there maybe five tops and that's it um, so then you're going to click on the above information is correct uh, the up the thumbnail right here the upload image that is for another video, which um, I've got more coming out, so hopefully soon um, I can put a short video out on how to put a thumbnail in here for your world. But for now, we are going to make sure this is checked, all this is correct, and before you hit the upload button, you have to decide whether you want to publish this world as a public world or a private world. Um, if you do check this button, it will go into Community Labs. Okay, so it'll be public for everyone. Uh, my advice, if you're not completely done with the world, don't publish it. You're, you get one a week. You get one publish a week, uh, but you can upload and update your private worlds as much as you want. So we're going to go ahead and keep this as a private world which you can visit in VR chat, it'll be on your mind list, or my world list, in your world. Uh, so let's go ahead and click upload. And depending on your computer speed, 
Um, it may take a few seconds, uh, depending on your world size and so forth. This one's not very big, it's just got the sack flight system in it mainly, the uh, prefab scene. And we are using C Creator Companion. Don't forget it, guys. We're not using the old Unity Hub. Okay, that is gone bye-bye. Now the image, if you would have had a thumbnail here, it would have uploaded that image to your world so other players can see what your world looks like. All right, so we have just uploaded a private private world in VR chat and it'll be under your my world list in your menu. So next thing to do is go ahead and close that out. Now we are going to switch build target and we're going to switch it to Android. This is a I like this feature though when they did did this update to Creator Companion uh, switching it to Android and that part is okay. Let's see, are you sure you want to switch? Yes, confirm. And it may take a while. It's gonna take a while, definitely gonna take a while, depending on your world size, to switch it to the Android Quest version. 2,000 years later. Okay, it is finally done crunching all the assets, textures, and importing everything it needs for the Quest side. Wow, that took a while. All right, so if you go to the Builder tab, before you click on, well, it won't even allow you to. That's one thing I don't like about this new Creator Companion, but if it helps the Quest users on the text textures in, in the world, that's great. You notice here it says default texture format should be set to the newer format. And you can't even publish the world until you auto-fix that, so you have to auto-fix that. All this other stuff, ignore it. Ignore this. Do not auto fix. Do not. So, we're going to auto fix the default texture format. And this will take a while too. Uh, right now, we are all set to build and publish for Android. And once you click on this, it will take a while, depending on your world size. So let's go ahead and build our everything set here. Disregard this stuff again. Build and publish for Android. And it's going to import everything it needs for the quest side. And once this, you're going to have a screen just like before. And we'll go through that. So I'll see you in about two hours. <laughs> two hours later. All right, well, it didn't take that long, but it took a while, believe me. Um, depending on your world size, and this was small, it probably took about 10 minutes. But anyway, we are at this screen, the screen right before you publish your world to Quest. And you have to do the same thing. Here, you don't have to change anything, leave all that the same. It's carried over from your PC version. Um, if you do upload an image at this time, uh, it'll still stay there for your PC version, so don't worry about that. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. Click here and then upload. Uh, do not click here, like I said, unless you want to make it public in Community Labs. Uh, after it's in Community Labs, depending on how many favorites you get, how many visits you get, it'll go into the new category. So we are going to upload this for the quest side. All right, so we are uploading the package to VR Chats on the Quest side. All right, so we are finished with the PC side and the Quest side. Go ahead and close that out. Now, before you close this out and you're done, you need to switch the build target back to Windows. And it won't take that long because it's already compiled it before. It should just take a few moments. And then you'll be back into your Windows Unity Editor mode, which is where you want to start from. Um, I mean, if you are a Quest user and you want to start from Quest, that's fine. And then you can upload the PC version, but... Um, that's just the way I do it, so. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, you're all set here, you can close that out. And you can continue working in your scenes, close that out. 
um, editing and creating your world. And when you're ready, just go ahead and upload it again. Keep it private if you want. Make it public, whatever you want to do. So thanks a lot, everyone. And hope to see you on the next video.